but but like with cartoons and shit like that like i don't know maybe an adult cartoon it might be acceptable but when it comes to my 14 year old daughter my eight year old daughter you know what i'm saying when i see stuff like that it doesn't matter if it's homosexual or heterosexual i don't want them watching it period okay oh got you um so yeah i think that sexualization is pitched in general when it absolutely. comes to the kids the younger generation it's easily accessible to them okay Harsh um, funk, man. funk, day oh, piss. funk de la piss. Yeah. <laughs> Ed du toilet. <laughs> so, so, what are we? What's up, y'all? Is uh, we here? We has we had some backstage comments, but let's bring it to the forefront. What we're talking about today, so everybody can be caught up to speed. Well, first off, before we even get into shit. I want I want to get into this whole J Cole situation. I mean, as everybody know. J. Cole and Kendrick are going back and forth uh, lyrically. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's actually any real beef, but I don't know because I don't know these niggas personally. But I think you know them. Uh, I, I wish I did. Um, you know, they're they going back and forth right now. Um, and they are dropping some lyrical bombs. But more recently, J. Cole has been criticized for... Uh, I guess using transgender uh, ac accusations, not necessarily accusations, right. but he's just putting it in his bars. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we could we could actually say what he said if you guys want to actually get into that. Right. You know what I mean? Go ahead, buddy. All right. Uh, let me pull it up. He just so he it. said. So he said. Um, I did just have it, but. My MacBook was acting crazy for a second. Um, he says, "Oh man, that's a bunch of shit over here." Oh damn it! Uh, <laughs> says, a bunch of shit over there? <laughs> nah, nah. Oh damn, that's crazy. There ain't no way that it's no longer available. You literally just said it. I just said it. Yeah. Um, I see a trans fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get to it now. I, I didn't know it by heart. But uh either way, fuck it. Keep the show moving. He was talking about he pretty much used trans in a in a in a verse, and I don't know if he was uh criticizing somebody in Kendrick's family, but um he, he was saying uh you know, was it his demeanor, whatever the case may be, but he was just using it as bars. Yeah. Um as rappers now, do. As as rappers do. I mean, now granted, it is a different day and age where people um you it know was just, it was just trans appreciation day oh here it go it popped up right here uh it's, he said uh is you a demon or is that demeanor for the gram tell us they plead the fifth i'm seeing hints of a trans fella in cancel culture's vicinity he's no killer trust me beneath his chosen identity there is still a pussy period so mm -hmm. right now he's being criticized uh Mm. The whole LGTB. Not even that. That I don't know. I'm just. Um, I mean, there's. Good. I'm at this point, dog. I'm just like I just I just fucking hate. I hate the internet. I hate social media. Me too. I, I hate all that shit because real shit. I mean, did he personally attack a person? He's directing lyrics to fucking Kendrick. Mm -hmm. And all he did was use words. Pretty sure he don't fucking say I hate gay people. Or I hate transgender nope. people. He don't even seem like he comes off with that type of energy. It's like anything that you say against that community, it just seems like it gets amplified mm -hmm. a billion times. Where somebody says something like that about the black community saying shit like that is like yo it's just a joke hey y'all get over it no hey, it's just bars 
hey, it's bars. Hey, y'all do it to each other. Why is it such a big deal? Listen. That's like when, uh, when females call each other bitches, and then as soon as a dude calls them a bitch, they flip out. That don't stop me. Where is it? I know we know it don't stop you, <laughs> but why is it acceptable? You know what I'm saying? It, because, but but then again, but then again, but then again, Kev, what you we call each other nigga this nigga that, but as soon as somebody white calls you nigga, you might have a problem with it. Kev will never let that happen. I ain't letting it go down. Yeah, yeah. So I so didn't. my question is, how is that any different then? If if the they're somebody's here, the using their terms that they could use for each other for them, and we use terms of and use it as more than likely a term of endearment or you know, just say, pretty pretty okay. much pointing something out. How is it any different? I, I don't think like okay, here I'm just gonna I'm gonna use these terms. Hey, if I, I hopefully it doesn't get too offensive. Maybe y'all should bleep it out when it goes to fucking YouTube, whatever. I'm not doing I'm that. Just say the word. This is live. If you call somebody, they if you say, that. if J. Cole said, hey, to this gay dude, this fag is on some, and he's gay, that's offensive. Jesus. It is. Okay? Get what I'm saying. Listen, if you say that. Okay. If he says the word fag and he's not in the gay You're community, say it again. they can cool. use it. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. Sorry. I am, I'm just saying the word. I don't mean this to be directed at anybody. I'm just using the word. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it. I'm just bringing it up as nuanced so we can understand what we're talking about. I can say the F word and y'all think I'm talking about fuck. But if he says that, then okay, that's offensive. If a white dude is saying nigga this, nigga that, nigga that, yeah, that's offensive. If I'm a dude and I say this bitch, that bitch, this bitch, it's offensive. But niggas say bitches in lyrics all the fucking time. You don't see the woman mu- movement or the woman in power movement coming after every fucking rapper that says bitches in their rhyme because there's a it's said all the fucking time. It's because they lost already. No, they they, feminist they, used to, they did that. No, because they did it before. You don't. Okay, feminist groups have the power to fucking stop a lot of shit now, and they do. <laughs> do they not? Yeah, but they're, they, they're, they they're focused that. on Diddy and, and Vince McMahon and Joe Biden right what now. I'm, what I'm saying I'm, is, what I'm saying don't. is that particular point, you are absolutely correct, but they they've done it. I remember that. That was a thing, like where they were like, Oh, you gotta get rappers to respect women, respect women. And bro, listen, I look at it like this. The whole and then we got thing Megan about, the Stallion. The whole thing about and uh, and it's, and I'm cool. I'm happy that the gay community is no longer fucking ostracized from fucking society they accept it as a part, a part of society y'all I respect that wholeheartedly but half the shit that these when they say these transphobic lyrics or whatever half the shit is that this shit is materialized by some fucking bot or some fucking government official or somebody higher up on the food chain making money off this situation fabricating this shit and blowing it out of fucking proportion, gaslighting the fucking community, getting them all in the uprage, and then fucking pulls himself out of the fucking equation and said, "Why? let me sit back and watch it fucking burn. Because, let's be real, if they didn't value the money that or the power that the gay community had to spend on them and, and do good for their business, trust me, there won't, there wouldn't be a day as Pride Day. They wouldn't hang this, they wouldn't have the shit on in in their buildings because they don't do it for us. Black History Month, you don't see fucking Dunkin' Donuts fucking have uh the Black History Month colors and they fucking store. You don't. What's the colors for Black History Month? I was just about to fucking ask that shit. What are the colors? Black, red, red, and green, dog. Come on, dog. That's Africa. That's up, but that's our roots. That's that's us. That's where we came from. Black, red, and green. Or saying, hey, man, for Black History Month, we're we're recognizing we're recognizing this person <laughs> that has something to contribute to America that's a black person. Black I need person you to Google the Black History Month color. No, there are no Black History <laughs> Month oh my colors. Gosh, this man. nigga ain't talking about Kwanzaa. I ain't talking about Kwanzaa. <laughs> that, that's all. <laughs> oh, niggas, man. Listen, listen. Uh, listen. You know the one said I'm, Listen, shit. I think you're overthinking it. There's not no, like, we're, we're not in. Um, okay, so no, what the on. fuck is it? What the fuck is this? I'm just going to put it up there. Black History Month has the same black, yellow, and green. My bad. That's the colors for Black History Month that they use. 
Okay. There, there it is. I'll just post it up on here so y'all can see. Since it's, I'm just saying, no fucking store has that shit represented in there. They don't have a section for when Black History so, Month. Yo, all, right. all we all we ever get depicted as is some fucking monkeys or somebody always trying to make fun. You ever see fucking Gap put the kids in a monkey shirt and they, they right. trying to be fucking funny? Like, come I've on, call them out on their bullshit. We call them out on their bullshit. What they do? Oh, we, we, it was just a mistake. Da, da, da. And they do it again fucking a year later. Yeah, it's outrage. Right. It's outrage marketing. Um, so let, let me let me add a caveat to that. Go right. Ahead, man. When it comes to uh when it comes to how they value the different minorities. Um so we're valued, but we're valued in a different way, in a way we can be controlled. Um, the public, actually, the, the general public in a way we can be controlled. So when it comes to who spends their money. We're, we're always going to spend our money because there's there's going to be black trans people. There's going to be black gay people as well. So we're, we're also lumped into that. So I think as a whole society is now controlled by uh, whatever is said on the Internet. So I don't think there is a man like, you know, like on Undercover Brother, the man that is typing something in and then sitting back like <laughs> while we all go at each other. Give me a second. But. We are trained as a society to be outraged at the, the like to be outraged at the dumbest shit, the shit that when no one had a voice that everybody could hear on the internet didn't affect us. In 2000, when we weren't, well, let's let's take it back further. Let's say 1997 or something like that, when the internet wasn't as prevalent. The person who's a dumbass who is offended by a person smoking next to him or or offended by a person saying nigga to each other didn't have a voice to get to everybody in the world. But now the most idiotic person can say even about something that they mistake from somebody, they can say anything and now it becomes law and more people follow up with that. So I just think that it's more of a control issue when it comes to, you know. When it comes to us today's sponsors are brought to you by ideas unlimited do you have a birthday party coming up maybe a baby shower could be a wedding party school's letting out could be a graduation party in mind ideas unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces you like snacks everyone likes snacks am i right get your snacks custom made with your face on it ideas unlimited can do it all and more Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. I, I'm going to say, can I say something? No. What, I, what I'm scared is what's going to happen is that this whole, you know, the power that the gay community has, what I'm scared was going to happen as people are going to start getting so sick of every little thing they, they get micromanaged on mm -hmm. that they're going to wind up losing their voice. You know, get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Crying just like, cry, you know, yeah, just like the, um, like the, what's the shit they can't, when the, all the women were cute, you know, accusing the men of, uh, fucking, um, you know, touching them inappropriate. What was, what was that movement called? I can't even think about it. Uh, Me too. Me the too. Me Too movement. Yeah, it was great. It was doing See how we know it as a movement. That's yeah. control. But it, go was ahead. Doing, it was doing great because it was getting these fucking dudes who were pieces of shit out of there, out of the right spots. And it was cool. But then they was like, then they got to the point where he looked at. I remember this guy looked at me wrong. And then, now you're me too. And this guy for look, I was like, yo, it got so fucking out of hand and so fucking like ticky tacky, motherfuckers just stop fucking with it. And I'm scared that's what will happen to the gay community. Is it's going to get so ticky tacky that the people who used to be like the assholes are just going to start getting their voices going to start getting louder. Like, look, see what happened. We gave them power. Look how, look how they're doing. Look how they're doing us. Hey, bro, that's and now. You move, yeah, I know. And you're, that's what I'm saying. Then your movement is lost. Like, pick and choose the right battles. If you're being depicted or being marginalized in society in a wrong way, those are the battles to fight. You know what I mean? Those are the battles to fight. Not the, yo, 
J. Cole, I mean, uh, Will Smith gave a trans guy a handshake instead of giving him a hug. Like, what is he, homophobic? It's like, yo, it's like, to stop. Be fair, or he could just not know him. That, that you happened. hug everybody you don't know? No, but I'm saying that recently happened. Somebody didn't want to give a trans person a that hug. That was years ago, but I, I understand. Yeah, but he got blown the fuck out of proportion. Bro, let people be comfortable in doing what they want in society. That, that's because, what it is. Individualism, yeah. Exactly, because we we allow, we want people in the gay community to be themselves and, and, and live life how they want to live their life, and we respect that. Whatever decision they make, whatever pronouns they want to be called, However they live their life, we like, yo, we respect that. But you also, in that same breath, as we respecting y'all wishes, y'all got to respect other people's wishes. Because some guy, it might be some men out there who is cool with you being a trans woman and respect that. But but in the same breath, like, yo, in the back of their mind, they won't date you because in their mind, they probably still look at you you as a man. But they give you the respect still. As a woman, you get what I'm let saying? Ask, like, respect both boundaries. Let me ask both of y'all a question. Okay. Take take the internet away from us right now. Literally, the internet does not exist right now. Will you have the same issues? Like, will you will you feel the same way? Or or is it on here? Here's what I mean. Here's I don't I, mean. I don't oh. here's what I mean. When it comes to the outrage, we are outraged that people are outraged. You understand what I'm saying? Like, because to us, it doesn't make any sense. Let's let's take J. Cole for instance. Him saying that line, right? To us, it's just bars. It's just something that he used in a verse that rhymed, that was clever, that was like, oh shit. But to somebody, they wanted to make a big deal out of it. We don't know why, but we're more mad that somebody is so stupid that they will take that. Well, you know what? You're entitled to, to how you feel. So if you feel offended, that's fine. Don't try to trigger everybody else to be offended. So we are we are offended that they feel offended. So that's why I said take the internet away. How do you, I, how do you I, does the same thing happen? I think that with no internet, if if it was 2024, there was no internet, we probably wouldn't have half the problems that we have today. And I'm gonna tell you why. <clears throat> the internet gives you a place where you can drop your opinion and your opinion could be worth dog shit but the fact that so many people share that same shitty ass opinion Mm -hmm. it blows over into something that it shouldn't be okay now my issue with the scenario with j cole and this verse is that this is directed to a person not to everyone you know what i mean now when you're going back and forth with a person You're going back and forth with that person. Doesn't necessarily mean that you don't give a fuck about anybody else that's within the same parameters. Okay. That's just you and them. Mm -hmm. What the internet is doing is it's rallying people up against a certain cause or a certain person or a certain. Yes. But in reality, who really cares? Because at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, now with the internet, people are keeping receipts, right? We, they got receipts for everything nowadays. But if there was if there was no internet, nobody would, it would be forgotten about. You know what I mean? And when the next hot shit comes out, you hear it? Oh, uh, you don't hear that other person that is 9,000 miles from you talk about, oh, he's just disrespecting everybody in the trans community. Right by saying the word trans and calling him an undercover. But in reality, and not to, 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 uh, not to put anybody, not to rub anybody the wrong way, but a lot of people who start off or realize that they have, um, an interest in the same sex at first from the people from, from the, the gay people that I know, the homosexual people that I know that I'm close with really cool, like family to me. And some of them are family. We've grown up and I've watched them deal with how do I 
yep. make this acceptable for others? How do I live with myself and and still be okay with the family and the friends that I know? How would they look at me? How it's a lot of judgment going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But in reality, there's no internet, there's no none of that. And a person is if, if they are who they are and they speak to a person like myself, like my brother, for instance, he's gay. Two of my brothers are gay. Wait, wait, Both wait. You're kidding. Yeah, right. Two of my brothers are gay, right? Both yeah. of them told me. You know what I mean? It doesn't change the Just way that I feel about you. It doesn't change the fact that I'm going to love you unconditionally. And whatever you want to do with your life is exactly that, your life. You get what I'm saying? Nobody can tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing. I mean, right. you know, unless you're out there just murdering people left and right. You know yeah. what I mean? But but nobody might be. Be telling you, nobody <laughs> should be telling you how you should feel towards any sexual preference. Okay. Mm. Hey, hey. Now, not everybody's gonna hey. feel the same way I feel. You know what I mean? We were we were raised as when we were younger, we were raised to look at this in a negative view. Were we not? No, I, Being I kids. Was. But I'm talking I mean, about, I'm, I'm talking about like I'm not talking about like in your household, your mom or your dad was like, yo, that's wrong. I'm just saying when you go that's out it, into the world, mean. and when you go out into the world yeah. and you're living regular life, I'm talking about back in the 80s and 90s, yeah. you can't tell me that people treated them a certain type of way, which made them feel like they can't be honest with people. You can't can get shot. Out, can't be, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, and I don't, I, I, the I'm, internet kind of brought a soothingness to that though it's like hey okay. you too you too when you start seeing like-minded people mm-hmm. it's, it's it's it can be positive or negative with the internet but i am more on the negative side with the internet you see more negativity i mean just twitter alone jesus christ bro i don't go on there much it's so- i don't go on there really like that but when i do go on there if there's a thousand comments, there's 900 negative comments. You know what I mean? Absolutely. This shit is ridiculous. No love on it. Yo, let me ask you. If, um, because Kev said something, he said murdering people. And you know how, like, you might say, like, you know, after you got done with a girl, oh, I murdered the pussy or I'll, I'll murder the pussy or whatever. What's your. What y'all, what y'all think gay dudes say? I knew you was going to go there. <laughs> I knew I'm you was going to go there. Well, well, I'm not even answering that shit. Mm, no. You think, it up. What do right. you think that they do when they go back to their homeboys and give them, yo, 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 Ty- yo Tyrone? Where's his ass oh. out? Hey, yo. That's hey, fair. That's fair. Hey, yo, hearing somebody say, I tore that dick up is crazy. Uh, chicks say it on the time. What chick you know said I tore that dick up? She said I put that nigga to sleep. That ain't the same <laughs> sentence, Kev. I, Why I you know. always try to tiptoe around know. this? I, 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 I'm getting out this subject because I'm getting away from this shit. But I want to have question. a conversation. You homophobic? No, oh, no, because I'm answering your question from earlier. I didn't even get a chance to fucking answer that shit. Uh, the fucking. <laughs> I tore that dick up last night. <laughs> I'll, talk, I'll talk about the other part. <laughs> Uh, um, that ass up. <laughs> you know, same thing. It's no Yo, a nigga, oh, fall, one a nigga falling asleep from that is crazy. <laughs> hey, nigga, hey, the same thing. Ain't no difference. You, they both must have done. You must have You go to sleep, my nigga. It's I no assume different. that it's pleasure for both ends. Yeah. Don't make it seem like. Don't make it seem like in a homosexual relationship, the catcher, when it when the sexual activity is over, the catcher is just sitting there like, oh my gosh, I'm like, yeah, like living? just like, uh, well, I mean, I would assume sure. that I would assume yeah. that yeah, there is a problem. If you, you were remember? a catcher, you've caught a lot of pitches in your day. You probably are. You're probably used to the MLB by now. You know what I mean? So. But but I mean that's just me. I mean think about it, man. The same thing with I would assume it's the same thing. It's the same thing with Johnny. After a while, the first it hurts, but after a while they they cool with it. Get it, I mean pleasurable. I understand. So, you had to pop a cherry with a vagina. I'm sure you got to pop a cherry with an asshole. We can ask niggas in jail. They'll tell you. <laughs> Nigga, see, I, he's the, he's the one that's on the deck. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly, the ones in jail will tell you. I don't oh, want them to. Nigga. 
That nigga in jail ain't telling you. You ask the question you want somebody to tell you, nigga. <laughs> you gonna Google just, this shit later. I just want to know. I just want to know what they say when they finish. You know, like just I guess destroying. Ask a homosexual friend. You got homosexual friends, Dre. You're right. Is it a hard conversation to have with? I them? mean, I don't no, think it's not a real. Have not a, I don't. I don't think it's just little system. And I mean, I don't know where Brian is. Brian, but. If you got you questions, know, bro, you shouldn't just text a nigga that out of nowhere. Oh, Yo, what you say after you murdered some shit? After you, after you pummel your boyfriend. Yeah, what you be saying to your friends? That's some shit that is red flags. Red flags all that's day. Disrespectful. Like, like that's what I'm saying. That's what, like get back. That's just disrespectful. Like saying that like earlier. Like I, I grew up. Like I said, I grew up. My mom, best friend, was gay, so I grew up around gay people since I was a little kid. So it was no difference. You know what I'm saying? I got gay gay family members. I knew motherfuckers when I was little who was gay that just hung around us and shit like that. So the thing I would do before pre-internet is like, yo, if I know a person's gay and they're uncomfortable and this nigga's just coming around bashing this one gay person that's like everybody else treating you bashing this gay person. I'm like, yo, man, chill the fuck out. Like, you see such and such as you're like, why the fuck you being man that nigga? I'm like, yo, just chill. Like, you ain't gotta be disrespectful. Like, he might not say nothing, but I am. Like, just let that shit ride. Like, you ain't always gotta be out of pocket. Like, don't I call cat. Yeah. I call cat. You don't gotta call cat because I done it before. I done it shit and check niggas. I don't give a fuck. I check motherfuckers like, yo, just chill. I'm I'm like, saying I, you know the motherfucker gate, like, yo, just chill. I'm saying like, I, uh, like you see him up again. You see him motherfucker about to cry in the tears. You got to say, "Yo, chill see, the fuck out." See, that's a different. Okay, so that that's what I'm getting. At. They uncomfortable, okay. and you about to fucking make him upset. Like, yo, man, chill the fuck out. Like, you being a fucking bully right now. So like, you're talking you about gay bashing. This... Yeah, gay bashing. You're being okay. a bully to somebody that knows that this is a, uh, when he's in a situation. Yeah, he's gay, and we all heterosexual, whatever. You're fucking bashing. Like, yo, chill the fuck out. Like you, you like. And I tell the homie, like, yo, man, just just go home. Like, cause this ain't these niggas ain't gonna let the fuck up. It's just me and you when it's like four or five of them. You know what I'm saying? I, I know and these niggas ain't gonna let up. And like this shit gonna turn out to be something ugly. And I don't want you to get hurt. Like, just chill. And if it's my family and I, my family come to me and they say they gay, and then nigga talking that shit, then it then it's really like that's my blood, then it's really going down. I'm gonna tell you, chill the fuck out. Then I'll take the risk again. Get my ass beat the fuck up by four motherfuckers from my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Or someone right. I love. If you, just if if in I'm, that situation, I definitely understand. I, I understand what you're saying because that's more like that's even bullying. Like, cause, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like regular bullying. Like not even you know gay bashing. You're going to be you're going to be uh, what do you call it when you feel somebody else's pain? You're gonna you're gonna feel their pain and you're gonna try to you know not let that happen. Yeah, not let it happen. Like, yo, man, just chill. Like, just ease the fuck up. Like, yo, come on, man, ease the fuck up. Like, but y'all know, y'all know such such. Like, don't don't do that. Like, just be fucking, huh? No, I'm saying, but there has to be cases where you've seen somebody like maybe it's not that particular way, but they might somebody might talk about somebody else that they know is you know and. We all may old, we all may have listened. We don't just jump right into action. Oh, like, I done seen stop old talking people. about my friend. You, you don't necessarily seen, do that. I've seen old heads talk about when they find out somebody gay and shit like that, and they know a person gay in their family and shit, and the old motherfuckers just be talking crazy. I'd be like, I don't pay that motherfucking. Money. I just won't bring a gay no, person. The around. person's not in the room. I'm saying like somebody's just talking about. Somebody who's maybe a guy who came home from jail was always straight, but somehow now you see him and he doing some other shit. You, you gonna say even you if it's not like, proven. Like what the fuck happened to you in there, nigga? You going to say that? You right? That that that's that has happened. Only thing the internet I can say has done justice is that it kind of educated us a little bit mm -hmm. on how to be more sensitive. Yeah, to the gay com community. But in the same light of that is is these motherfuckers that are just fucking miserable individuals and their whole thing is anytime somebody says something negative to them, they probably had nobody stick up for them. They just on the internet keyboard gangster. That's it. I'm going to fucking tear your career down, you fucking bastard, you piece of shit. Because my life is miserable. Because half the time, I really think most of the time the people that be on there that be 
fucking going at people. I think there are people who no, we're who are gay that just can't come the fuck out and got some kind of fucking burner page that can't come out and say they're gay because they know their family's going to ostracize them. Mm. It's 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 a lot of that, and it's a lot of people who are born on the internet. They were born yeah. during this thing, and that's true. Like I look at a person like um, academics, oh, he's, who's not gay, but he's just, he's just, his behavior with not only Meek Mill but like other people to me comes off as a person who's never had to see a person out in the street right you do things differently you say things differently because i am behind a camera i am behind a phone every day so whatever pops in my head i could just type and you ain't gonna come do nothing to me that's the the society that we're living in these people were born into that where with us if i say something about you it's going to get back to you and i know i got to see you so Unless I have a problem and I'm ready to fight, I'm not going to do that. That's not the way it is out here now. So you got people who will think a certain thing and just say it. And then somebody else will glom onto it or be trolling and think that it's funny and post it. I can't tell you how many just keep it on the Meek Mill shit. Let's say, let's say he was getting, let's say he was fucking puff. Right. You know what goes out the window? That whole don't ask, don't tell shit. That whole yo, you you um, uh, what is it? What is it when when a person doesn't come out the closet and you're and you like out them? What happened to outing people and how wrong that is in the real gay community? That's how that's how I know these niggas be fake outrage and like just telling jokes and trolling. What happened to outing people? Wasn't outing a real gay person wrong? Now all of a sudden because it's Meek Mill, now it's funny. Now we're just now we're gonna just make up shit. And say it's real. There's a there's a video. Kev sent it to me, and I, as soon as oh, I saw it, I said, awful. I said, this sound like some dumb shit of somebody yeah. getting fucked or whatever. Mm. And then if you listen, they put, oh, that's Diddy's voice, right? That's Diddy's voice. It is still wrong. You're correct. Um, that's Diddy's voice. The voice is literally from a popular ass video of him like closing a phone call and closing a business deal, right? But you got. Stupid people who are typing their shit and saying, oh, man, this sounds wrong. Oh, I knew it. Oh, yeah, that's his voice. That's their voice. Yeah, it's definitely him. Like, it's the fact. Couldn't be further from the truth. Somebody will literally put up a video disproving it, saying where it comes from. And niggas are still in the comments saying, no, y'all can't for anybody. Y'all people are stupid, bro. And now we just get to see it more. You know what? My thing is, if if. uh. With this, with, just to tap in it for a quick second, if with that whole Meek Mill situation, if they brought it to light, and if it was true, and if Meek was like, yeah, it was true, I think that he would have more defense oh, than he yeah. would have ridicule. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. And then there would be a whole different type of movement. I mean, Diddy would still be, still be a target of all types of crazy shit. Yeah. But, but they would change their opinion but the fact that he is um uh, fighting it and saying yo that's not happening instead of third blah 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 what if it do? does happen to be true then they are going to accost this nigga at yeah yeah so, oh, the of, the course. Right. So, of course yeah i'm actually so if i person is is wrong so why isn't these people like academic and everybody's making fun of meek mills trying to out of why aren't these fucking people getting fucking crucified like J. Cole's getting crucified now, for something. Now you, you know what I'm saying? Now you're asking why the right you, questions. Why are you not nailing this nigga to the fucking cross? You just did something that's very wrong and considered wrong in the gay community. Why ain't nobody nailing you to the fucking cross? Because it's because you know anyway. why? Because it, it because you know what? The funny, the funniness of it outweighs the fucking reality of the situation. So that funniness voice on the internet holds more fucking weight. So that's what's going to stick in society. And society is going to roll with, okay, we're allowed to troll this situation instead yeah, like, of saying it's fucking wrong because exactly. there's more people saying it's funny than then there's more people saying it's fucking wrong. Like, that's why shares, I hate the you, fucking internet. That's what it's all being done for. Like, it's fucking, abuse. it's fucking, the outrage on the internet is so fucking fake because it's a fucking, who's, the, who's first to say it's wrong and who's first to jump on the bandwagon? And who's there to say, "Oh, I was there and supported this"? 
Somebody has a fake outrage. I was like, oh, I'm outraged with them too. Eighty percent of people are not fucking even outraged. They just want to say they're outraged so they can get, like you said, clicks and views. Hit the like button on. I just put this nice comment on here. Look how many mm-hmm. likes I got on my comment. I got a hundred likes on my comment. I got uh, a thousand like fucking replies on my comments. I'm good. You don't even fucking feel the fucking outrage. And like all. you have you ever seen how hard it is for a, a, a really a gay person to live their life? Have you really experienced that shit? Like I seen it in the eighties is uh, when I was a kid growing up and my m- mom's gay best friend. Everybody, you know, talking shit on, but he 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 was respected because he's whooping motherfuckers' asses that talk shit about him. Can I talk about that real quick? Yeah. Can, can, and I want you to get yo. When I was little, gay dudes could fight, bro. Yeah, because so you, they yeah they had yeah. to fight because motherfuckers they was fighting for on what them. they believe in. No, yeah, they, I'm saying no, no, no. Ain't anything about that. You get the gay dude mad in the class and he won't fight you. Nine out of ten times, you're not winning that homeboy. Oh, that nigga, that, he do everything, and I'm yeah. dead serious when I say that. So it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. Well, maybe it's where I grew up. So no, nah, it's not different because this nigga, the, 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 my mom's gay best friend, he c- can fight, and everybody had to respect the fact that he was gay, and everybody in the neighborhood understand what he was. Nobody was disrespectful in the fact that he was gay. Niggas respected it because he fucked a few motherfuckers up. They tried him, so it's like, yo, you want our respect? You can be whatever the fuck you want to be. Yeah, they're like a hybrid. Oh. Yeah, it's just like it just it just what you say I don't know what it is, man. No, I'm saying they're hybrids. This is yeah, I, I just said, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is in the it, what's going on in the gay community because you you talk to a lot of people that are older, that are mature, that are gay. They half the shit you talk to them about, they like, oh, I'm not really upset about this shit. Like y'all going too far with this shit. And then mm-hmm. you talk to the kids, the younger ones, and they just say they're upset. So I'm like, what you upset? What are you mad about? And they don't really have no fucking point of why they're mad. They're they're mad because they tell me they're mad because another person mm-hmm. they seen was mad about it. So that's why they're upset. Hey, me, you us too. Mean? Don't get it twisted. You too. We've all been a victim of this. We've mm-hmm. all been a victim of being mad so, because somebody said something. <clears throat> Oh, I see that. Well, well, let's yeah, let's pivot this a little bit, uh, especially oh, with this last shit. comment. So, oh so, shit, bro, you don't start. So you shit. see, it says no one is is well. He meant to say born. He 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 edited his book. Nah, I believe what it. Nah, nah, nah. I like that. No one is but, both gay. Um, but that's correct. That that is a good both question. Gay. That is a good question. Do you think that it is choice, or do you think it's genetic, or do you think you know? Do you think you're born that way? Do you think you're taught that w- taught to be a mixture that of both. way? Is this something you've learned? A mixture of both. I think if you if you so what I all right. So I come from. I'm gonna get into my school. shit, but I'm gonna let y'all talk y'all. Yeah, shit I'm gonna I'm 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 do a little bit. So mm-hmm. I, I I'm I'm one of the people who come from the old school where people see. So my thing is this: when you're a kid. All right, it's, let's not talk about right now because right now I do think that there is an agenda. Mm. Okay, there is an agenda, but when we were kids, it it wasn't so prevalent. Maybe to us, to the to the to the public. So, come on, growing up, we all had kids in the class. Like nobody in third grade or fourth grade was was fucking anybody, right? Nobody in third grade or fourth grade was kissing anybody. You like, let Kev tell you that. Don't I, I, know, I know. I know. I know. Fucking, but, so, he got let me make that point, man. I'm listening. Yeah. But <laughs> Look, I'm you just know saying, there was always a kid. That's just the way it is. There was always, I'm talking about gay men or, or boys. There's always a kid that was a little, and everybody knew it, right? And then you grow up with these people and then you see that they're full blown. And you're like, okay, to I me, see. to me, and only me, because that's the only person I can speak for. To me, it's like that dude didn't say one day, boys, boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not something that happens to me, right? So, how I always saw it was it's just something that is something that's inside of you that you're not, you're not going to choose that. If I can just, I'll finish just in one sec. When it comes to somebody getting, like we talked about earlier, Come on, man. You're not going to choose that. Who chooses that and says, that's some shit I'm going to be doing? Right. But there is a certain 
portion of people who want to experiment. Right? They might be they might be fluid. Hey, I don't hey, I could do this or I can do that. It's my choice. I want to do it. Neither one is wrong. No, we're not saying it was right. wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not saying no, no, not y'all. I know y'all, y'all with me, but I'm just saying, like, neither one is wrong. Whatever no. you want to do, you could do. But you you I think they go on like like they say they you have sexual impulses and you realize, yo, I thought I was taught to like saying a boy, I was taught to like women, but I feel more sexually attracted and comfortable being with men. You know what I'm saying? You can you can come out as a boy and a boy this boy that, but you feel comfortable, you feel comfortable being this way. And and it's cool and it's great back then, I think, where it was you let that person grow up as an adult and become that person. And as an adult, make that transition. And as an adult, you make that decision to live that lifestyle. You realize you live the right lifestyle instead of you being a kid and you kind of on the fence. And somebody say, no, 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 no. You're you're really gay. You're gay. Here, take these hormone pills. Hey, here, change your gender. Do all this and all that. And it was like, yo, maybe that was just a time in my life as a young person that I like the same sex. I'm not into that now. But now I can't make that transition back into what I used to look like because I actually like women. And that's why I think me personally, like the suicide rate in the transgender community is is fucking like really you on a tick and homicide and homicide on a tick going up because it's like yo let these kids because they're kids learn from what they consider what they want to be in life do they want to be gay all right cool I, they like the same sex do i think i'm in the wrong body i'm 20 now i think i want to make that transition i feel more comfortable when i see myself as a woman mm-hmm. let me make that transition into being a woman cuz i know this is the decision i don't want to ever reverse or go back because making that decision to get that whole operation and sex change sometimes you you you, you really can't reverse the process you can't say oh Hey man, I made a mistake in uh when that surgery. Oh let, shit! Let let's Sorry. undo it. Is is you get what I'm saying? Is that decision is made where you're telling mm-hmm. kids at 14, 10, 13, 14, Oh, get this whole transition, and maybe that kid was just fucking. He, that kid was just gay. He just like, hey, I like, I want to keep my body, but I just like, I like the same sex. I don't want to make this whole transition that you're trying to give me. So I, I just, just want to say I want to clarify something before we move on to Dre's next point. So what you're saying is, when they cut the dick off, they can't put the dick back on. Listen, that that's what I was about to talk about. But go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I, I heard, I, don't, I, I heard Jay Z back on. I heard Jay Z saying, I heard niggas saying they made hove. Okay, make another hove. I just imagine the dick saying that. That's all. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess that's it. A lot of shit. That's a lot it. Of shit. There's a lot of shit that goes into how your dick work, blood, and all that, and all that. I don't know, but they they said you can't make the transition. I don't know if the men get it amputated. That I don't know if it can. I mean, it could be reattached, but I don't know if it's going to have that same that same feeling. I don't know because I I I can't speak. I so no I'm idea. taking I'm taking what Day says because neither one of us know. By the way, yeah, neither one of us know. But I'm saying like I just would love. That you let these kids go through this gracefully because this is a more accepting society of of gay of of the gay culture. Let them let them experience. Let them do what they want to do. Don't judge them. Let them be. Let the kids be a kid and let the kid make a decision as they become older. Do you, as they become an older person, get what I'm saying. That's do, all I ask. Do you feel like it's pitched? to our kids or your kids or the kids of this do you feel like it's pitched more to them in society now especially yeah. with social media and tv because of that, I hear yes people say, i hear yes. people say all the time okay well oh y'all pitched this uh heterosexual shit i'm like yo i would never <clears> let my kid <throat> watch some overly sexualized fucking cartoon as little kids um, that they kissing and dating them and the boys and the girls all it. like if it's funny it's funny whatever it's kid shit it's kid shit they're just having fun playing it's cool, but 
you're trying to push some type of agenda on these kids. Like, let these kids be kids. Let the cartoon be about one, two, threes, colors, and whatever. They having a fun fucking adventure. Like, why we got to get into relationship status? I was about to say. Why when do we got to get? Yeah. Yeah, when it comes to that, like, pitching the scenario of homosexuality, I, I like. To, I want to say I'm on both sides of the fence with that, okay? Now, first of all, when it comes to children, I don't think there should be anything sexualized about television that they're watching. Right. All right, we have a hard enough time dealing with kids on some regular shit with life than to add another fucking complex piece of the puzzle, especially at a young age, all right? right. But also, I do understand that these people, first of all, they are people with feelings, opinions, they have a right to these opinions and feelings, right? They have a right to see people that are just like them on television, doing the same things that they do, showing them that it's okay to be who you are in your skin. You know what I mean? It's okay to live the life that you want to be able to live without fear of being ridiculed or chastised or bullied or any of that. Live your fucking life. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, but... Like, with cartoons and shit like that, like, I don't know, maybe an adult cartoon, it might be acceptable. But when it comes to my 14-year-old daughter, my 8-year-old daughter, you know what I'm saying? When I see stuff like that, it doesn't matter if it's homosexual or heterosexual. I don't want them watching it, period. Okay? Oh, got you. Um, so, yeah, I think that sexualization is pitched in general when absolutely. it comes to the kids, the younger generation. It's easily accessible to them. Okay? Um, now, to to kind of to kind of uh, to get back where where we were, I guess I'll, I'll make my point about uh, is it born or is it a choice? So, when it comes to just beliefs in general, um my shit is kind of a little stretched out more than just anyone else's regular beliefs. I do believe in God. I don't know if the God that most people serve is the actual God that is actually up and up and about making this rule, whether it's Christianity or uh, you know, being Muslim or Jewish, whatever it is, I believe more in um what I believe that whatever whatever was under the sun is still under the sun. I believe in energies. I believe in everything. Um, pretty much comes back. Uh, what's it called again? I'm I'm at a loss of thought. Karma. Not well. That's 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 actions. You do bad actions. Oh. You get bad actions. Uh, reincarnation. Reincarnation. So, with that being said, um, if reincarnation is real, and if you do believe in that. You come from a previous life. You know, a lot of these dreams that I feel like I have or people have in general could be an alter life or could be something you've experienced in another life or whatever the case may be. I believe that if you were once one thing and another life, you kind of bring that with you to your next life. It's not just like a reset. You are who you always were. No matter if you've been on this planet or in this solar system in this universe for a million years when you keep coming back that that basic part of you is you you might be learning new things because it's a new world it's it's you know compared to if you were alive or if if you if a former self of you was alive in the 1800s it's not going to be the same as the new self that's born in 2010 you know what i mean so obviously you're going to learn new things along the way, but that basic principle of who you are, your actions, the way you perceive things, your sexuality, stuff like that. I think you actually bring that with you in reincarnation. So technically you could be born that way. There's no way that you're three, four years old and you know exactly what you are, or what you want to be sexually. You really shouldn't know anything about sex or anything that goes along with it at that age but as you progress and you become eight or nine ten or twelve you start actually having feelings now we didn't have the internet 
when we were at that age. We actually felt for those that we had feelings for. We, you, For us, I looked at a female. I thought she was pretty. I liked her. That's what made me know that I loved women in general. I feel as though I feel as though it's the same way if you're homosexual, you're growing and you have an attraction to a type and that's what you like. It is what it is. You don't necessarily have to be taught that. You can just feel that. You know what I mean? Right. And it doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to be guided to that direction because I tell you this, there's there are men that I know that have sons that will try to guide them to be heterosexual. What happens when all of that guiding doesn't work? That you know what I mean? He been gay. He, he, he's been the way he's been because that's just who he or she is. Mm -hmm. They've been the way they've been. So when it comes to it being a choice, or or being um, born genetic, born with it. I think it's much deeper than any of that. Personally, mm. you know what I mean. You 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 have visuals. You have senses. You, if you touch, if 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 I had to hold your hands in prayer, I'm not gonna feel any type of way. You know what I'm saying about a man in general. Mm -hmm. I could hold a female's hands and be in prayer and look at her and be like, damn, she bad. You know what I'm saying? I might have to wife her up after church. It's a wild thought in church. It's a th hey, you know what they say? You find a good woman in church, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You find a good woman in church. Can't find a freak there. You, you But you can have that feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know what you're going to find in church. <laughs> That's, that'd be the ones, right? <laughs> You can't tell the pastor you can't find no freak in church because a lot of times the pastors be the freaks. Oh my god! You know what I mean? So, but, but, <laughs> I'm just saying. Ah! <laughs> but but in reality, you know what you like before before anything before you even decide to try something, you get that feeling inside. Yo, I like her. I like him. Mm -hmm. I like him and her. Right. You just don't you don't know until you've actually experienced life in general. You right. know what I mean? As you grow, those feelings start to sub subside and, and really yeah, yeah, and really manifest themselves. Mm -hmm. So when people start to tell me that oh it's a choice or it's a nah, when you decide to do something illegal, it's a choice. When you go to the bank and you cash a check and they ask you, do you want fives tens or 20 those are choices you know what i mean i don't know a person who if i've known you all your life and you told me that you were gay more than likely i knew that ahead of time did you, know you know what I'm saying have you ever heard anybody say yeah i think i want to be gay no, i've no, never right? heard it, someone it, it, say i think i want to be exactly gay. it's all it's all it's all fun and games of being gay you want to be gay till it's time to have sex I mean, it's you. It seems yeah, like a joke, but no, that's correct. That's absolutely correct. I mean, am I wrong? No, because you like. Or are you what? wrong? Excuse me. No, I, I ain't wrong. You you at a, woman, <laughs> right. You want to be gay? You staring at a? She staring at a pussy for the first time. I never time had to, a woman say the pussy looks good. Time to dive or in. You in your face with a hard dick, and you like. Nah, I ain't signed up for this. Well, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's 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 Kev. Oh, you had an awesome point, and that's I'm about to say I he killed we, that shit. Yeah, I think we should wrap it up on that, man. And and like I said, I hope we ain't offend nobody, and we don't try to. We Yo, listen, it's people. all love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all love. We're we're just yeah, we're yep. just seeing shit from our point of view. We've had yeah. conversations with those that are close to us about sexuality uh homosexuality heterosexuality anything really you know what i mean i mean my brother he, you know raheem he's a wild boy you know what i'm saying party animal but he will always keep it 100 with you from the front all the way to the end so having conversations is just it's just regular conversations at this point we're not surprised that shit you know what i mean maybe if we were younger we'd be like yo that's crazy but now it's like 
the general conversation. Yo, the the maturity within you growing and understanding life and what life is like for you, and you can't compare your life to someone else's life. You just have to be understanding. You know what I mean? You have to be supportive in the person that you love and care about. And whatever anybody else decides to do with their life, that's their life. You know what I mean? It's none of my business, really. Whatever you like to do is what you like to do. What you like to do. You know what I mean? I just point I point. just let people know that that's not what I like to do. I'm interested in women. My wife, one woman, <laughs> she see this podcast, she'd be like, uh, motherfucker, you are interested in me, and that's it. But <laughs> but in reality, we would probably be a lot farther in life you know, the community of people in general, if we just minded our fucking business. I, I'm going to end it on this note. Be happy, do you, and enjoy your life. long as your happiness don't affect my happiness, we give a fuck what you do in life. Just don't murder nobody or harm kids. That's the only thing I draw the line at. And we love you regardless. How about that? Not if you not if you harming kids and murdering I'm people. About, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about <laughs> sexuality. Yeah, Whatever you that. decide to be, Whomever you decide to be, whichever decisions you decide to make, does not change the love that we give. You know what I mean? You are going to be a person regardless of how you see yourself. I will always see you as a person, the person that I care about, I love. You will always be that to me. There's nothing that you could do that will change that. You know what I mean? So, well, on that note, we're out of here. I hope we love all the comments we received. Thank y'all for some people helping us out, guide the conversation and shit like that. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I mean? And um, we out. Peace.